Do you have any use for faith personally, Bob? Well, let's say I have some rather strong emotional commitments and, uh, and powerful intuitions, but I do not elevate any of them to dogmas and I don't try to ram them down anybody's throat. I tend to believe in some kind of intelligence behind the universe. I refuse to call it God because to most people God means an old man with a long beard who's watching to see which 12-year-old boys are masturbating so he can put them in a bonfire for a million years. Not for a million years, but for millions of millions of millions of years. I can't use the word God. It has so many stupid, superstitious connotations. That is, that's one of the stupidest and silliest. But the, the, you know, the number of meteors that have hit churches, churches wiped out by floods, by earthquakes, by lightning strikes before they put lightning rods on them. And by the way, why do they need lightning rods on churches if they think God listens to prayers? All they got to do is, hey, don't, 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 don't let any lightning hit our church. That doesn't work. Faith is believing what you know ain't so. That's why they put lightning rods on their churches. You think of all the calamities that have happened to churches, the idea of a consciousness that has a particular concern with the human race out of all the possible species and what Carl Sagan used to call the billions and billions of galaxies. That this, the mind behind the universe has a particular interest in us and has a particular interest in being praised and flattered and cajoled by us. Geez, when I listen to the things people say to their God, if anybody spoke to me that way, I'd, I'd, I'd really get pissed off at them. I don't need that much flattery. I don't want that much flattery. It's just plain embarrassing. And it's obviously sycophantic and hypocritical. What it comes down to is, oh, you're so big. You're so big and wonderful. Do something good for us because we know you're so big and wonderful. It's talking to God like he's a four-year-old retarded child. So I can't believe in, I, besides, look at, the, look at the records, look at the Koran, look at the Old Testament, look at the New Testament. The God described there is as, as the mental level of about a four-year-old. I can't imagine that character creating even a carbon molecule, much less a DNA molecule. He, he would get a couple of strands in a molecule, right? Then he'd screw up and then to show his, his vexation, he would rain fire and brimstone on two cities and tell whoever he elected as his representatives at that time, go murder another tribe over there. I mean, that's all through the Old Testament. He's always telling them, go kill the Midianites, go kill the Hittites, go kill, you know, wipe them all out, kill all the men and rape all the women. That's a God, with, that's, that's the brain behind the universe. I can't believe it. It's only an intuition and it's not a dogma, but I feel there's some kind of intelligence in the universe. And maybe above it for all I know, but I'm not going to argue about it.